In this video tutorial, I will show you how to install BIMP or Batch Image Manipulation plugin for the latest version of GIMP on your macOS device. So let's rock and roll. Hello everyone and welcome to D22 channel. My name is Dudu and I'm back again with another GIMP tutorial, but this time it's for macOS users. And once again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click that red big button to give me some support. Alright, I will assume that you have already installed GIMP latest version 2.10 on your macOS. If not, go ahead and install it first in order to keep on with this tutorial. And if you are a Windows user, I have made also another tutorial for this topic. If you are into that, check it out from the link on the top right corner or from the description below. So back to our main topic. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we will install this BIM plugin right here and that you might need in order to manipulate batch images using GIMP. This could be whether for batch image resizing, cropping or adding a watermark. Initially, this plugin has an easy install process for Windows devices with a simple installer file. Unfortunately, it is not yet the case for macOS devices, but there's always a solution to get things done. So to install this plugin, we would need two things. First of all, access the terminal app, which will allow you to control your Mac using a command prompt. Don't panic here, we just need to write simple command to run a small task, nothing crazy at all. Second thing is to make sure you have the Xcode command line tools installed in your device. Usually it could be that this one is already pre-installed. So to make sure we have it, let's launch our terminal app, open the quick search window, command and spacebar for a shortcut, write terminal and hit enter. Terminal app will pop up. Then. Write down or copy paste from the description below the following command Xcode dash select space dash p. Hit enter. If you get a path like this, then it means that you already have Xcode line tools installed. Otherwise, when if the result you get is blank or returning empty space, you should then install Xcode in your device. All you have to do is head to your browser and type Xcode in Google search. You will get this window. Click install from Apple store and follow the installation steps. If you need more info, go ahead and check this tutorial made by Rebuild developer team. So now that we have checked our requirements, let's download our plugin from the main source. Go ahead and open this website. You can see the link from the below description. Here we got the latest version of BIMP, which is this 2.4. Click to download the source code as a zip file. Go ahead. Double click to unzip the file. You will get this nice looking folder full of other files and subfolders. Next, we have to open this folder in our terminal app. Click on your right mouse button, scroll down to service, a sub menu will show up. You will see these two options, new terminal tab at folder or new terminal at folder. In case you don't have them, you can enable this from system preferences, keyboards, then from this menu select shortcuts and from this selections highlight services. And from right window, scroll down to files and folders. And finally from here, make sure to check these two options. With this, you can open your folder directly on Terminal app. There are also other simple ways to do the same. Open a new Terminal tab for all window, type CD as a one word, and go back to your folder location, drag and drop the terminal, you will see a new path added here. Hit enter and you are in. Also, you can do the same way by typing CD as a one word, go back to your folder location, copy and paste it to the terminal. Basically, copy command will get the folder path, hit enter and again, you are in. Now that we are inside the main plugins folder, all we have to do to install this plugin is typing down in our terminal. Make space double ampersand space make space install or you can copy paste it from the description below 
This command will check plugins files and issue the commands to recompile them and install it. Wait for the processing time, and here we go, our plugin is installed and ready to work. Let's double check and open GIMP again. Check from file, and voila, we can read here batch image manipulation. Click to open it, and here we go, the plugin is installed and mission accomplished. You can see here that all plugins features are here. Let's pick one. Yes, everything seems to work. I guess that you have noticed that this missing icons or images. Never mind at all, it doesn't affect any operations at all. But if you want to have this fixed, there's a hard way to do the same process that require more coding and commanding skills. If you are interested, check it out for my other tutorial on how to install game from source code in using terminal app. Anyway guys, this is after all a quick and easy way to install this plugin. If you know a better solution or if you have any troubles making it work on your macOS device, please do let me know in the comment below by adding hashtag askdudu. Following your comment, I will get back to you as soon as possible. By then, thanks again for watching. My name is Dudu and I will see you in my next video.